Asia is an area where the population really growing a lot, middle class growing a lot, and we are going to see a food demand and supply not matching with a big gap. And now we are standing already in front of 2020. Um, we need the next few years to really um, speed up our game on the innovation so that by 2030, we can actually have commercialized solution for this much, um, large, massive population here in this world. So I think this time is really the best time to be here. Necessity or demand is always the, the, the driver of innovation. And here, Asia is where the population grow and need a very good alternative solution for the food supply system. And where we are facing is in uh, the China market. And China also have the food safety um, consideration is the top priority for consumers. And what we're doing in alpha meat cellular aquaculture, we actually is a very perfect solution for that because we can guarantee the food is safe and is um, you know good for health and um, this is what is driving the innovation as well as is driving the future demand as well. In our technology development we still need a, a year or so in order to reduce the price drastically to the a parity with conventional meat product um, that is the first. The next is the scale up because we are actually borrowing some uh, medical stem cell technology to the food application which is we need to produce a lot more than medical use. So that is the next hurdle. Um, I think we as the government has, uh, Singapore government, MSAC, PwC and Rubber Bank has done the research at least a lot of investment driving this innovation in the coming few years and um, for us uh, as a startup, we definitely need support from the government in the uh, regulation um, investors to help us to actually conduct our R&D and also the, the market that is receptive to this product. We do travel to Singapore here quite regularly. I see that we will be coming here also quite often because Singapore has been taking a very proactive role in driving uh, alternative protein not just in the country but in the region. So we have been following very closely the government pushing on the framework development here and um, as a Hong Kong company and also active in the region, our food product also very close to the culture here, we see Singapore potentially is the, is the uh, jurisdiction we go for the approval for our food license. That's one fold. Um, the other, of course, um, the, the government is very supportive of innovation. We are quite actively considering um, doing part of our R&D here to tap into the talent pool here and also the support and infrastructure in this country. I think by that time, um, people would be pretty much oblivious to the differentiation where the meat comes from. Um, a consultant has analyzed in the future the three different ways of getting our meat is conventional way, plant-based and the cell-based. And in the future, possibly for the conventional and the cell-based, you wouldn't tell the difference. Maybe the restaurant or the, the, the hotel will make the decision for you when they put together a very tasty dish. Um, you would not ask them, oh, is it from cell or is it from conventional? Um, I think that that will be as, 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 as regular we see our smartphone now as compared like 20 years ago is really a novelty but now we just take it as part of our life.